Okay, we should be live. Hello, Hi. everybody. We're going to be doing some productive sprints, work from home with us, work on whatever you got to work on today thing. And we have some special guests today. All their links are down below in the description if you want to go check them out. Uh, you guys want to introduce yourselves? Um, hi, I'm Char. I'm, how old am I? 19. <laughs> I think for a second. My mind is blanking right now. Um, I started writing this project that I'm working on in March, no, November, November of last year. And I'm currently starting another rewrite. So we'll see how that goes. Very cool. Hi, I'm Tiffany. Um, I am not going to say my age. Um, Fair. But uh, the project that I'm working on today is actually a short story collection that I'm just starting. So I'm not even a thousand words into it. <laughs> That's exciting, though, getting started on a new project. Yeah. Well, I finished the one that I did for National Novel Writing Month, which I was really excited about. So um, I needed something that was a little bit different. <laughs> yeah, I definitely feel that. That's impressive yeah. that you were able to like jump straight into a new project after finishing. A lot of people are like burnt out after NaNoWriMo. Like they don't want to write anything after that. I think that's why it's been such a, a struggle the last week. I've been trying to kind of get into it. And I think my head's still in National Novel Writing Month. <laughs> that's definitely a hard transition to make at least for me i always need like a little bit of downtime afterwards yeah yeah i didn't participate in nano this year oh yeah i didn't really either i like started to and then i was like thirty thousand words that's good enough no i um i had oh oh sorry my thing just glitched like crazy um <laughs> no my uh i had finals week uh, well, not finals, but just exam week in Nano uh, in November. So I was just like, no, I'm going to just focus on that right now. That is a hard time of year to do it when you're at school. Yeah. So, but I got good grades, so it was worth it. <laughs> yeah, definitely takes priority. I think I did it once when I was in school, and it was definitely probably the most stressful one that I've ever done. Yeah, I agree. I think I tried it once. Even I think it was in high school. I don't think I ever even tried when I was in college. Like there was just I was no in college, so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely hard to balance. Uh, yeah. I'd love to know what you guys in the chat are working on today, too. Oh, yeah. Welcome, everybody. I think we got a good amount of people here. Thanks for joining us. I need. I see some names I know. I see yeah. Morgan. Hi, Morgan and Nicole. <laughs> Got some familiar faces. Hello, welcome everybody. If you have a preference for the length of the sprints, feel free to let me know too. Do you guys have a preference? I like the 20 minute one. Okay, cool. Minutes. But I like I don't I really don't mind. <laughs> I can I've go done them all. Shorter's long. Yeah, I'm I think the shorter ones are harder. Yeah, if it's yeah. like five to ten minutes, I feel like that's too short for me. Yeah, the 15 minutes is like a good warm up, but then preferably longer ones. Okay, cool. So we're on the same page. And I'd love to, if we can, I want to give a shout out to Morgan. I was watching her stream this morning. She's been doing a week of uh, informational updates on Crohn's disease. And they did like a fundraiser this morning. It was a live stream, her and Barrett Laurie, if you guys know I'm on the chat. And it was really awesome. They answered a lot of questions, gave out a lot of great information. Oh, very cool. Yeah, thanks for letting us know. Okay, so it seems like we're all on the same page with like the link. Great. Client articles about 12 and 3 stuff in this piece. I'm also doing client stuff today. I'm trying to finish an evaluation today. First time here, 2025. Welcome, glad you could join us. Within the day job, I love seeing everyone's progress in the day. It's going to be productive once I get home. Okay. Love that. Working on the million opportunity collabs I'm part of, answering emails and preparing stuff for those. That's fun. Yeah. Collabs are always fun. Can you tell us what they are or is it like a secret? Has it like not been announced yet? I think I know one of them. I wonder if I can tell. <laughs> <laughs> I am going to tell. We are doing, we're trying to collaborate a 10K day for Sunday. Oh, very fun. I love 10K days. 
I've never tried it. <laughs> I, I was just tried. telling my cousin about it, and I was like, the only time I've ever hit 10K is when I accidentally do it, and I don't know that I did it. <laughs> <laughs> it's like if I plan it, I everything in their mother comes up. I'm doing all kinds of other stuff. My head's not in the game. But if I'm just sitting writing, all of a sudden I'll look up, and I'm like, oh, I'm at like 9,000? Really? <laughs> That's amazing. I wish shit. I had that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's only happened twice. <laughs> like, <laughs> That's real impressive. Wow. Yeah, I could never. No, yeah, I'll have to like block out a whole day to do a 10k day like I need. Well, the first I have to time block it out happened, a whole day for 4k. The first time it happened, I was helping my aunt it just had surgery and she's one of those people who lives for ID network like it's on 24 seven. And like I told my cousin, I was like, I think I really just wrote 10k because I was trying to escape all of the death and despair and like killing <laughs> <laughs> and everything on repeat all day long. <laughs> Just looking for a distraction. Right. That's funny. Hello. Okay, cool. We all seem to be on the same page. Boring nine to five analytics will work for me. Glad you could join us anyway. Getting some reading done. What are you reading? I haven't read anything good in a while. Give me all the recommendations. Working on a 10K day, a middle grade collab, and a virtual retreat. Oh, and a podcast. Oh, so you're busy, busy. <laughs> I didn't know about the virtual retreat. I'm excited for that. <laughs> That's interesting. I'm just trying to go through all my comments from my cover reveal. I've been at work all day, so it was nice thing to come home to. Oh, yeah, I saw your cover reveal on Instagram. Congrats on your cover reveal. Very exciting. I think um, her book is coming out in January. Correct me if I'm wrong. Or if you will do a 10K day and burn out. That's the problem. If that's like way too much for you, there's like no point in doing it because then you oh. just don't write for a while afterwards. So it's like, this is hard for you. Yeah, I'm impressed. That's a lot to juggle. Most of my day was 5K. That's still a lot for a day. It's a mm -hmm. very solid word count. Just make sure I get to this earlier today. Really it. Thank you so much for reading. Oh, awesome. Oh, I still need to order Wicked Souls because it wasn't available in my country. So I have to wait until tomorrow. And then yeah, I can it's buy not it. out yet. So, um, so yeah, I don't know. Early. Yeah, it, I have to order via a specific website because like the Amazon like doesn't ship to me. So that's great. So I have to like order it from this Dutch website and then it'll come in like three months probably. So oh, no. yeah, it's great. Wow. I love being in Europe. <laughs> I didn't know it was different for all the different countries. Yeah, That's it's very different. You have to, because I can also not order in dollars because I don't have a credit card. It's not that like common here to have a credit card. So I have to like order it in euros. But then the only website that does that is the Dutch website, which ships so long. But I was literally wow. just catching up on the marionette. So <laughs> like, like figuring out, oh yeah, that's what happened last. So. I'm excited though. I'm excited. Thank you. I appreciate going to all the effort to get that. I'm sorry it's so hard to get the book to you. Yeah, that, that's not that's not like you can't fix that. That's I don't think that's out of your control. So I'm glad just, you can at least get it somewhere. It, it's just how it is. Yeah. Pink Europe. Wow. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Her book comes out January 17th. Oh, that's great. Congrats. Possibly do a 10k day. I only got to 9k and then test positive for COVID the next day. Oh no! I oh. felt that. <laughs> Were you feeling bad then the day you did your 10k day? Because that's like crazy impressive if you had COVID and you wrote 9,000 words. Yeah. I couldn't write anything when I had it. I was just out. Yeah, yeah. big Europe. <laughs> we love it. I'm writing a thriller, so I'm reading a handful of easy to read thrillers to get a feel for where I am facing. Mm. Very nice. I love thrillers. I watched Ghost Whisper when I was writing a thriller because it freaked me out. So I was like, <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. I'm like a big chicken. <laughs> it is already available. Love it. Oh, thank you so much for reading it. Oh, <laughs> It was the first day I felt sick. That's crazy that you wow. done. I'm glad you're feeling better. 
All right, shall we jump into the first sprint? Yes. Pull up our timer. Um, okay, we'll do 20 for the first one, the warm up sprint. Uh, yeah, let's just get straight into it. 20 minutes. Good luck, everybody. I'll talk to you then. Yes.
I was used to it. I'm trying to figure out where we were in the comments. How did uh, the first prank go for you guys? Well, slowly but surely getting there. <laughs> So it's like, as I said, I'm focusing more on quality. So I got 160 words. So nice. It's pretty okay. Not a good start. It was the warm up sprint. What about you, Tiffany? Um, I actually ended up not getting any writing done because my program didn't open. Um. Because my computer, it's, I don't know, it's just not happy with anybody. <laughs> so I worked on um, setting up my link tree. <laughs> <laughs> you had something done. It's okay. It's yeah. productive. <laughs> it's always like when you need it, the technology just won't cooperate. Absolutely. I just ordered Wicked Souls, by the way. It was available anyway. So <laughs> I got it. <laughs> I'll we get here soon. Hello, everybody. It looks like we got some new people in here. That was just the first sprint, Don, so you're not that late. You're good. That's really late. Hope you're having a lovely Monday, too. Yeah, I should put out a warning before we get started. I know there's always someone who gets startled by it. Sometimes pets get upset. 402. Nice. Ooh, good job. That's a great first sprint. About 500 words down. Nice. For 20 minutes. That's nice. Yeah. Almost 300 words. I don't count them. Oh, your handwriting? That is fast for handwriting, though, for me. Wow. It has not to anybody who can handwrite. Yeah. I, like, I, I sure. get confused and all types of lost. <laughs> <laughs> there oh, so I got about 100 words writing that time. Working. We're having technology issues everywhere today, apparently. Great, wonderful. <laughs> Hello, welcome. Yeah, I can't really like gauge my progress. I'm just I'm still working on my client project. We're getting through it. I think I'll finish it today. <laughs> That's all I got. Uh how long do you want to go for the second sprint? Twenty five? Twenty five? Yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking. So. That's what I was thinking too. We're 26 and a half if you want to be frisky. 26 and a half. <laughs> we like the numbers. Be very specific. I like that it's frisky. <laughs> <laughs> that was the first word that just came into my head. I like it. My hand would cramp if I had wrote. That's incredible. Same. I just like can't keep up with how fast my brain would be moving too. So I like wouldn't be able to right. write it first enough and I'd forget yeah. things stress i've just been right handwriting essays for tests i'm, I'm not handwriting anymore no <laughs> i'm not doing that again I'm done. So funny. i used to handwrite all the time like my short stories and different things like when i was younger i would mm -hmm. all the time i even have one that's like almost a whole book and it's in this like little binder and it's all handwritten and now if i tried to do it i would just be like I know I was going to write something. What was it? <laughs> right. I think yeah, you're I used to, to. Like, used to doing it a lot. Like when you're in school and you have to, you're just like, mm -hmm. you do it. Or you're just out of practice. I just did it in school a lot because when I was in high school, laptops and phones were like, no. So my notebooks would be like filled with pages and pages of just me writing because there was nothing else I could do. That was mm -hmm. the only resource I had. <laughs> I'm part of a local writing group, and a lot of the people in there, they write by hand. Hey. Well, at least My while we're doing joined. the word sprints. I don't know at home how they do it, but yeah. Right. I mean, if that works for them, great for them. Mm hmm Are you going to lie down there? Okay. All right, cool. Let's jump <laughs> back into another sprint. Sorry, my cat just joined and I was like, are you going to lie down on my laundry or are you just going to lie on the bed? So I know you're fine. We love the cats <laughs> around here. Absolutely. All right. Uh, 25 minutes this time. Good luck, everybody. Also, sorry. Wait, wait, wait just real quick. Um, my, if my microphone is muted, you can't hear my music, right? Because I was playing music. Did you guys hear it? No. Okay, great. Can't. You're good. <laughs> okay, great. I was so worried. I'm on TV. I'm assuming you guys didn't hear that. No, I can't hear you guys. You're good. Okay, great. All right. Talk to you in 25 minutes. Yes.
fun. Well, I was um, messing around with the setting a lot, so I actually lost like 10 words, but. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> yeah, it's fine, but it's better now. So I was just rambling on and on and on, and I was like, no. Yeah. That's not how we're doing it. What about you, Tiffany? Um, well, I had to reopen the program three times, but I finally got it open and I got about 260 words. I'm glad you got it open. Hopefully the next one, you won't have any more problems. Right. Okay. <laughs> uh, where did we leave off? Oh yeah, we were talking about handwriting. Oh yeah. I think I literally want to write. Uh, my cat is here too. Amazing. Yeah, he's lying on my bed. My cat is here too. He's sleeping near the bookshelf. Aw. Surprisingly, it comes way clearer than they were. Interesting. That is not my experience, but that's interesting. I don't have a cat. Do you like cats? <laughs> uh, Rose of Fanfiction. 822. I do. I actually grew up, I had a couple different ones, but uh, my father. Um, had some health issues and so I'm staying with him and he uh animal uh, doesn't love them yeah 300 and something words again nice about 600 words finish my client article then try and get this start on this one nice. nice I'm almost done with this client hopefully I can move over to the second one today too a thumbnail and send an email. Got some logos switched out on headers. Uh, tangled on Christmas lights. I'm trying to put on my tree. Nice. Headers for job aids. I only took like five minutes to go before that. I was procrastinating about the name for a silent night. I want her to Interesting. I think Tiffany's having technical difficulties. Hopefully, she'll pop back in. Yeah. Oh. Maybe some problems with the internet. I don't know. Maybe she's just like restarting her computer or something. Yeah. 211 handwritten words. Nice. Nice. Uh, do you have a preference for the next sprint? 25 is pretty good, to be honest. 25? Okay. Cool. As I said, I could always go really specific, but that's not necessary. <laughs> yeah, I don't really have a preference. That's why I always ask. Some people are very particular, but I really don't oh, care. Oh, here we go. Can you still hear us and everything? It's frozen, maybe? Okay, yeah, no. Yeah, okay. I don't know what happened. I was like, <laughs> it was just like there, and then all of a sudden it wasn't. <laughs> Technology, man. Felt that. Got a port. We got 279 for that one. Nicely done. Okay, if we're good with another. 25. I'm good with 25. Yes. Cool. Uh, let's jump straight into it. I got work to do. You guys got work to do. <laughs> <laughs> 25 minutes.
sorry, I really messed that one up. I was like trying to close out all my tabs because I had like 30 open and I closed the timer and lost how much time we had left. So I just pressed. So that might have not been 25 minutes. I don't know. It's but uh, how did your sprint go? I added like 150 words, which is pretty good. Nice. <laughs> I um, I did really good. Good. Yeah, I got a little over 700. Nice. That was a really good one for you. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, if I get stuff open, I can get stuff done. True. If the computer yeah. actually works for you. Uh, I yeah. am done with one client, so I'm going to take a break. I'll read through it again nice. later. I'll move on to number two. So I'm happy. Let's see, we'll leave the comments. Welcome, glad you could join us. Oh, we got a question for you guys. Uh, what helps you get into a good writing mood? Ooh. Honestly, <laughs> forcing myself to sit down and do it. <laughs> because that's true. Such like true. I can scroll through Pinterest or make playlists all I want, but that's not that's not gonna help me get in the mood to actually write it. I just have to get in the zone and once I'm in it, it it's fine. Mm -hmm. So it's just sitting down and actually do it, I guess. I yeah, I one hundred percent agree with that. I probably music though, more so than anything, because I generally write with music on. So yeah, sometimes like like you said, I can sit down and still scroll through Pinterest and everything else and the music can be on. But after a while, sometimes it'll help. Also, I find that if I read through what I just wrote or what I wrote before, I, I stopped last time. Like sometimes that'll put me back into it. No. But yeah, it, it really is just kind of forcing yourself. <laughs> yeah, music is also a big one for me. I do make a playlist, but once that playlist is there, I'm not changing it or anything. I'm just listening to it on repeat and repeat and repeat. <laughs> you know what's funny? I make playlists and then I never listen to them while I write. Really? I sometimes switch it up. Because I, I do I, have a writing playlist. Yeah. But, like, I do listen to that quite often if, I'm re if I really want to, like, listen to songs that fit, like, the theme. Mm -hmm. But... I was sometimes I'm in such a weird mood that my brain needs some other kind of musical input that I'm listening to freaking Dutch children's music while writing my character having a mental breakdown. It's 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 wild. <laughs> yeah, like I was also listening to BTS during a fight scene, and that was also a trip. That's funny. Yeah. Have, let's see. I make playlists that. I feel like inspire, like, or what I'm inspired by, by the song, you know, like if it's a romance, it's a lot of like lovey type of songs or whatever. But when I write, I can't listen to anything with, with words. Oh yeah. And so I find myself listening to a lot of like the scores from different movies That's and stuff one. like that, that help me. And so I, I kind of switch through, you know, like if it's something action packed, maybe it's like X-Men or, um, um, like Marvel, Paris of the Caribbeans, or something like that. If it's surprisingly, if it's something real sweet and touching, Harry Potter works very well. <laughs> true, true. Harry Potter's a good one. So, yeah, yeah, I also listen to scores sometimes, but I can actually write with lyrics. It actually helps me better because, as I said, English is not my first language. So surrounding mm -hmm. myself with the language as much as I can, except for BTS, that's that's a different one. But surrounding myself with the language as much as I can often helps me. That's interesting. Oh, that's cool. that makes sense. Yeah. yeah. Like, I literally have, uh, for my one of my classes, I need to collect words that I don't know. And I have to bring them to class every time. I literally already have, like, 25 today. <laughs> wow. Can you it talk about your words? Uh, you? We have... Um, uh, decrepit canopy i didn't know what a canopy was why did i not know that um petrichor is also apparently a thing Do doggerel i don't know how to pronounce some of this and malodorous those are a few fancy ones 
Yeah, I didn't know why half of those were right there. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I have to study English and stuff, so yeah. Yeah, we'd love to help you out, but you've also stumped <laughs> the English pe speaking people. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that is really funny sometimes how like people, I like show these words to my uh, girlfriend who was like English and Dutch at the same time, like uh, uh, South African but English is her first language so she speaks English more often and then I was like showing these words and she was just like what? <laughs> what? but it's it's pretty okay because in these exams they literally use these words all the time and I'm just like why? <laughs> no one speaks like this Right, it's like the words they make you learn for like the SATs and stuff in mm. school. Like, yeah, we have, we have Cambridge and Advanced English. We have like Cambridge yeah. English, so it has to be British as well. And me, clearly with an American accent. <laughs> it's going to be interesting. <laughs> yeah. How <laughs> oh, much? That was really good for me. Maybe 700. Great. 738. 412. Oh, that's a lot. 186. You guys are doing great. I'm glad this is Yeah, wow. Move. Wow. <laughs> I think 400 switched admin because I'm a little burnt. Sometimes you just need a change of pace, a little break. Yeah, fair. Yeah. I only managed to get 250 until I had to move. <laughs> it's like, that's still a good sprint. Yeah, it was interesting. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> that was a good question. That was a good question, yeah. Um, do we want to just stick with the same sprint time? I feel like it's been going pretty well for 25. I could also do for 20. You could do a 20. Just change yes. the expression. I could, I don't know. I could also do for, I don't know. <laughs> this is me trying, like, sometimes I literally translate Dutch, like, expressions into English. And then it's so funny when I'm just like, wait, <laughs> that's not English. <laughs> My French teacher was like that. She um, she spoke like seven different languages, and sometimes in class she would have to translate through three of them to yeah. get to the English version. And yeah. it was an immersive program, so it was very hard for her to come out of French to even go into the other languages yeah, to do it. That's so interesting. I can't even imagine being able to speak that many languages. Like I wish I could. That would be so cool. But how do you keep oh, yeah. it great in your brain? I speak to, so yeah, it's not a lot, not as much as seven. Still impressive. Because my Dutch yeah. is decaying and the more I speak English. I, <laughs> my Dutch is awful. I really think if you don't use it, you start to lose it. Like I took like six years of French in school and I haven't used it since I graduated. So it's like each year I know less right. and less. We, um, my family was going on a Europe tour and one of the places they were stopping was France. And so my aunt who took French in high school and college, she uh, was studying up and she's studying. I took French in high school and college. My cousin took French in high school and college and all three of us are sitting there listening to our app and we're completely confused. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I had three years of French, but I dropped it because it's a, it's a compulsory thing in the Netherlands that the first three years you have German and France and English and Dutch. So, yeah, that, it's normal here to have that the first three years of your high school wow. time at 12 years old. So that's great. <laughs> but I dropped both German and French because no. <laughs> that's but, a lot, yeah. too, if you're trying to learn multiple languages at right. once. Like, wow. Yeah. But, like, because Dutch is such a, like, small, not, wait, wait. It's such a small country and the language is not used a lot. So we focus more on getting your English as good as possible because that's more used. But we like next to Germany and France is also pretty close by because of Belgium. So they're just like, yeah, you're going to learn four languages <laughs> when you're 12 years old. <laughs> I mean, in theory, it makes sense. But also, like, it was well, they do say to do that. They say you learn faster, like yeah, if true. you're gonna pick up a language, like it's easier when you're younger. So maybe that's why. But yeah, yeah true. But like that's just I think a the, lot. the methods that they used were just not it. It was not a fun experience. Like 
learning a language should be like more interactive and fun. And they were just like, yeah, you got to study like 50 words before the test and know this grammar, even though we didn't explain how this grammar worked. And I was just like, okay, sure. That's why I dropped it, thankfully. But now I'm doing an English uh, program, so that's better. Do you have to keep like with the English or can you drop both English, French, I guess all three, English, French, and uh, German? No, uh, Dutch and English, you have to keep through your entire high school career. You cannot okay. drop those because English is very important. And they were just like, no, Dutch and English will forever stay there, but you can choose French and German to continue with it or you can drop it. And I dropped it because I chose a more science-y profile. The Dutch education system is very weird. <laughs> Which language hmm. did you find the most difficult to learn then, since you were taking so many at once? German. German. German was such a struggle for me. Because, like, French, like, they had their, like, past tense and stuff. They made a bit, it made a bit more sense, because you just had to, like, make the words. I don't know, I, I don't remember much from it, so if I'm wrong, I'm sorry. But German had like these, uh, they had like feminine, oh yeah, French had that too, but in German it was very weird. We had like these feminine and masculine words and then you had like, wait, let me find the word in English because I don't know the word in English. Uh, okay, that's not correct. Anyway, it was just like these weird, like, I don't know how to explain it uh you have like the in english you have like the direct object the indirect object, uh those kind of things and they had like 12 of those or something i don't know it was a lot oh, wow. and they all had like different words and like different um articles like b and uh that kind of stuff it was weird That's german was hard <laughs> also my also my teacher sucked and apparently i was related to that teacher somehow <laughs> so that was also great. <laughs> wow. It was a ride. How did you not know? Like, when did you find out when you were still in their class? Um, like, um, my grandmother has, like, eight brothers. It was oh, weird. wow. Yeah, and then, um, like, her last name, it is a pretty common last name, but hers was spelled a little bit differently, which wasn't as common. common. So... Uh, I saw it him write it down that way and I was like, oh no, oh no. And then I walked up to him and then I asked like, do you know my grandmother's name? And he was like, yeah, that's my sister. And I was like, oh no, oh no. Thankfully I didn't say that I was uh, her granddaughter because that would have been embarrassing. That's crazy. Yeah. The so do you crazy. like see him at family get-togethers? <laughs> yeah. No, I no. I only know I only know one of my grandma's eight brothers. Okay. That's it, because she cut ties with most of them. Gotcha. Mm. That's so cool that you speak four languages. Yeah, I knew that most wow. people in Europe had more requirements than we do. Um, I just think, like in practice, that just sounds so hard to be able to juggle them all. I wish we would have been like required to take more in classes like earlier on I, yeah yeah i think it. Would, i mean i don't know about four seems a little much to a translate lot. in your head but i think it would be cool if we you know at least had to learn two yeah, yeah I feel like but two since my mother good. like my first language is dutch that wasn't as hard it was more like the typical stuff that you do in english classes like reading and that kind of stuff that was most of it and dutch literature sucks don't get me started <laughs> it all sucks <laughs> but we weren't allowed to use english books that were translated to dutch even though the grammatic stuff was perfectly fine because it's been translated there was someone in one of my french classes that was how they studied their french was that they read books that they knew but they read them in french mm -hmm. yeah fair. in order to help them like learn it yeah, Dutch books are not getting translated into English because no one cares. <laughs> and that's fair. <laughs> but like all these very like, they're all either like psychological thrillers that make no sense. And then have like these 
these themes that they constantly like smack in your face. <laughs> like, like they're not subtle about it. They're just like, yeah, here you go. And it's all like crime thrillers and stuff and no fantasy, no sci-fi, no nothing. And as a child, for me, that was boring. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I read a lot of English books when I was younger. That's why my English is pretty okay for a Dutch person. <laughs> I mean, I think it sounds perfect. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. As I said, I'm doing an English program, so I'm constantly surrounded by English. That's all. Your English is it immersive? To me. It is pretty immersive. Yeah, I have a... Uh, which class do I have in Dutch? Yeah, I'm doing like... Oh, I don't know how to explain this. Um, like in... Uh, you can have like an English major or you can also like have an education major. I have like both and the thing is just called the study like the program to become an English teacher that's just it so I have one course and that's basically just how to be a good teacher but that one's in Dutch because it's given to all the the teacher class because we have biology teachers at my school and like German teachers and it's a lot wow yeah Welcome, glad you could join. I think we'll do at least one more sprint. We usually on here for about two hours. You guys are good for one more? Yeah. Cool. Yeah. I think there was one weird word in Dutch that means completely something completely different in English, but I don't remember which one it was. That'd be so confusing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but Dutch uses a lot of English words and uh, especially verbs. We use a lot of like English verbs, but we just like uh, use them differently in like past tenses and stuff. So that's kind of confusing. Can you probably speak one language? Fair. <laughs> As I said, my Dutch is bad. You do not want me speaking Dutch because it's just bad. Hey, Jacob. All right. Uh, you guys ready for the next sprint? Yeah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> We've been talking for so long. No, it was interesting. I'm learning something new. Yeah. Like I, was, yeah. I was also like thinking about maybe starting to translate books to Dutch because I can and I speak both languages. Then I was also like, who would want to read it? People don't read here. <laughs> People don't read here. I don't know. There might be a market for it. So when you read, you never know. Would you prefer to read in English or do you still? like to read like translated books i only have one translated book on my bookshelf right now i read purely english dutch. purely because as i said dutch is just it's so cringy <laughs> i only have the divergent book translated into dutch right here i think which i read when i was in like when i was 12 years old but yeah it's the dutch version <laughs> interesting yeah I, i'm trying to donate this or something because i don't read it really anymore i think someone else might be more happy with it than i am right. yeah but purely purely english yeah interesting yeah yeah just english um do you guys want to do another 20 25 what are you feeling 20 20 i'm feeling the 20 i don't know what that means as a preference oh all right, uh, this might be the last one. So we usually go for about two hours. So good luck with the last sprint. Yes, thank you.
How was it? Uh, I would try to write, but my brain was just not working. So I just continued reading a book for school. <laughs> I just needed a break. Yeah. Um, I did 478. Nice. Wow. Yeah. I'm sorry my internet keeps being stupid. I came out like by our modem so that I wouldn't have problems and now it's like it's working worse. <laughs> it's okay. Mine does that half the time too. It'll tell me my Wi-Fi's not good. I've tried like plugging it in. I've tried moving. Sometimes it just like doesn't want to cooperate. It's just the craziest thing. <laughs> Yeah, thanks for coming and sprinting with us today. It's going to be the last sprint. Um, we'll get to the comments before we sign off, though. Thanks so much for coming, everybody. 611, I hope you got some work done. I hope it was productive. 750, nice. That's a good one for you. Mm -hmm. I really just wanted to finish that one client project today, and I'm done. So this was a great sprint. I'm very proud of you. <laughs> <laughs> you did great. Uh, it, yeah. Sometimes I just need someone to keep me accountable so I don't get distracted. So yeah. this was great. Thanks so much for coming on here with me, you guys. Oh, of course. Absolutely. Thanks for well, having us. Yeah, all their yeah, links are down below definitely. if you guys want to go follow them or anything. Um, but I think it's going to be it for today. So thanks for coming. And I'll see you guys. I think I'll be here again on Wednesday if you guys want to come sprint some more. But yeah, other than that, have a great rest of your afternoon or evening, whatever time it is for you. And I'll yeah, see you guys it's, soon. It's 11 p.m. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs>